Hi, this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, December 14th, through this coming Sunday, December 20th, 2015. Last Friday, December 11th, was the new moon, and this coming Monday, December 21st, is the winter solstice. And this makes the energy of this week powerful creation energy. New moons are the time to begin things, to start your projects, and make the moves to get things rolling in your life. The winter solstice is the time to release all those things that are bogging you down or creating barriers to your happiness and success and just generally not working for you anymore, whatever the reason. By letting these things go and using that winter solstice energy to really make this a powerful letting go, you are opening up the energetic space around you to allow the things that are in better alignment for your happiness and success to start happening for you. Once you release, then you create. That's how this energy works. And this week is nicely sandwiched in between these two powerful events. So it's perfect for you to take an inventory of your life and clear out all that no longer serves you. And then to make a fresh new list of all the goodness you wish to experience now. Um, so when you're taking your inventory of your life, be sure to go over every category these are people, events, situations, circumstances, your history. It's your physical, mental, and emotional aspects of your life, including professional and personal. It's those creative expressions that are deeply personal as well as for the public. It's all your relationships with family and friends and loved ones. It's your health and your wealth, your prosperity and abundance in every form. Expand upon these ideas to include all the areas of your life that are important to you. And once you have cleared out your personal inventory, then it's time to start creating. So make lists, make a vision board, make several vision boards, Journal, sing, do something tangible to express all those brilliant, fresh, new, wonderful things you want to experience for your current and future happiness and success. Use the energy of this week. Nice in between that new moon and winter solstice. Perfect new beginnings energy for you. And this week, the pendulum chose for our reading Angel Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine with this beautiful expressive artwork by Steve A. Roberts. And we have our three rows, money, success, and your well-being for the week. And let's see what we've got. There's your money row sure they're all showing up. Then on the success row, the last two cards stuck together. All right, so <laughs> a nice balance with those. I'm going to go over each one of these to give you the complete energy of this week and how it applies to you. All right, we've got all the cards out. Starting with your money row, this beautiful first card, the lovers. <laughs> this is... Uh, this is not just only romantic relationships. They're pointing out this is any relationship that you're um, thinking about, reminding you that relationships require communication. And that communication is building trust. And trust is what you are seeking to establish. And this is also an important card of making wise decisions. I love this, you know, you are carefully weighing your decisions. Those intimate relationships that add to the beautiful balance and happiness and success financially and other ways to your life. And carefully weighing your decisions. 
because these options you make in your life, every time you make a decision, it lays a paving stone in the path of your life. So make sure that you're making decisions that are paving the way to your most desired destinations and outcomes. Each decision is a step, and each step lays a new little paving stone on that beautiful life path. So they're asking you, weigh those decisions, make sure they're all leading to where you want to go, and communicate to improve the trust between you and your loved ones this week for your success. Then the second card on our money row is the five of earth. Whenever I see this card, these are fears around money. And this card points out that you're focused upon lack or you're focused upon uncertainty. And it's asking that you pivot. Pivot and focus upon the goodness in your life and your happy, abundant, desired outcomes. This is building on this energy of this week of releasing any ideas, events, circumstances, history that's no longer serving you anymore around your financial abundance. Let that go so you can create the new energy of what it is you want to bring in, those abundant desired outcomes, that abundant future that starts now. And this is allowing people to help you, reminding you, let people help you. Realize also that where you are is temporary. So please use your mindset to shift to more positive abundance because things are going to get better. You're not just going to keep staying in the same spot. And, you know, instead of spiraling down that negative emotion, you know, seek to start describing your happiest, most abundant outcomes. Don't describe what's going wrong. Describe, you know, what it is you want to create that's going to make you the most financially abundant in your life. And then allow that energy to be what carries you. With this new moon and winter solstice, those ideas will flourish and take off. <laughs> it's perfect because... <laughs> Here it is. It's the ace of earth. This is a nice inflow of abundance. This is good business ventures, successful contracts, abundant money. All that great energy that you seek is here. I love it. This is achievement and success financially. So please don't get by, bogged down by this card. Don't get stuck here. That's just temporary. That's just pointing out. This might be your default pattern. So let's move on to that ace energy. It's just a temporary hiccup, so pivot and allow all this beautiful ace of earth prosperity to wash over you. See, keep your eye on that glowing ball of your goal. Beautiful message in those two cards, in that whole row. And now for your success, we're starting with the two of fire. This is <laughs> also pulling directly from this ace. Because see, you've come into your own. It's new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. This was an inflow of abundance, a promising business adventure, important documents and contracts. So it's flowing, creating not only money, but also your personal success. It's beautiful. Please allow this momentum to carry you because it's the two of fire. Two is bringing things to you and fire is taking action. So take action to bring all those things to you that will give you your highest success, your highest abundance. And this strength card here, I feel like we pull this a lot when we use this deck. And it's also a perfect card for the energy of this week. The new moon and the winter solstice energy that we're here sandwiched in between. So please release all that doesn't serve you to allow your beautiful inner strength to shine through. Forgive. Beautiful card of forgiveness. This is forgive and allow to fall away. Don't keep hanging on to all those things and people and circumstances and situations and events and historical moments. 
that aren't serving you. So the strong, happy things that you desire can align with you. Beautiful picture. There she is on her amazing tiger. Very, very beautiful energy. Please allow your inner strength, Archangel Ariel, to help you with your success. Now these two cards stuck together. <laughs> and I love it. So this is a perfect message. You've got the five of fire, which is change and conflict to where you want to take action. Then you've got the ace of air, which is reminding you, don't focus here. Focus on this achievement and success in what you know, where your knowledge is. So the five of fire is your competing goals and bothersome details and conflicts with others. All these crossed ones. That's not where things happen. Things happen when you realize that you have the brilliant new ideas. You have the inspirations. You know the truth of a situation. And yes, it might be challenging in the beginning, but sometimes the best things are. So please don't focus on these competing things and bothersome details and other people that are, you know, conflicting with you. Focus on what you know. This is your success. Be a leader. Tap into that beautiful inner strength that you have and use this ace of air energy, with those new ideas and inspirations and truth to allow you past that any challenging beginnings, allow you complete and total success and financial abundance for this week. And moving on to well-being. Perfect card to start the well-being row because the hermit reminds you to go within. Go within for your answers. Use, you know, give yourself all this <laughs> balance and getting things done energy. Give yourself a little moment to step aside and have some much needed downtime to balance you, to connect you more deeply with what really, really matters. So when you're doing that energy that I talked about in the beginning of letting go of all those things that aren't serving you anymore, and then you are creating your new success in life that you really want to experience, pay attention to connecting more deeply with what really matters to you those deeply personal, it's not about money and material things. It's about those emotional connections. Go ahead this week and get out your own card decks and your spiritual books and anything that helps you get in touch with your guidance and spiritual connection for your personal growth and well-being. And give yourself a bit of downtime. Archangel Raziel is going to help you connect with your guidance and what it is that you need to understand for your highest well-being. Beautiful energy for your well-being row. And then the two of air. <laughs> so <laughs> this is second-guessing that energy of the five of earth card. It's pulling off of that one. And that's okay. Pay attention to your focus. And make sure you're, again, focused on your goodness, focused on your success, and please be honest with yourself. Use this hermit to meditate on any problems and, you know, anything that, you, any guidance that you need. Use your card decks, use your meditation time, use that just getting out of the craziness of this week time. And allow yourself to connect. Um, <laughs> and they're very much reminding me to tell you to stop analyzing. And I know a lot of people just can't help it. It's part of their personality. But any time that you can cut down on that analysis, it's going to help you. And, you know, analysis shuts down energy. It's uh, the, par the paralysis of analysis <laughs> is not going to get you anywhere but just going in the same old circle so please breathe and release and trust set the analysis aside and allow this hermit to bring you guidance and beautiful connection for the answers that you need for this week 
you know, this week is more than just this week. With that new moon and that winter solstice, I want you to set into motion how you want your life to be. All those things that make you really, really happy. And the King of Earth is reminding you, again, that you have people around you that want to help you. And the King of Earth wants to help you with your material world. And these people are generous, professional, responsible, and practical. So tap into this really being a successful time. Confidently accept these opportunities. This Ace of Earth and this Two of Fire. Those are your great opportunities. And because it's going to go well. This Midas touch means that you know what to do. Everything's going to flow in your favor. And you are also generous, professional, responsible, and practical. So allow those traits to serve you this week for your well-being and for your success and your financial happiness. Um, if you would like personal guidance, I would love to give you a reading and address specifically what's going on in your life to give you understanding and clarity help you clear out anything that you have been holding on to that's no longer serving you. Anything that you're trying to make decisions about, a reading will help you with that. So please contact me. My website with all the information is spiritpathways.net. And use the energy of this week, not only to get ready for the holidays, but to release all those things that aren't serving you and really put your mind and your heart to what it is you want to create in your life. It's all beautiful. So have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.